What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review. And this is very special. This actually comes to us from my man BEW Customs on Instagram. Long term member of the channel, really. I mean, he's been featured on the channel since the inception. I mean, it, it, we have covered a ton of customs from him. We've unboxed some customs and stuff like that. And I actually got a really big package the other day from my man. And it had 9 or 10 customs in it. Big old commission order that I did. But I can't share any of them, really. This, this is the only custom from that box that I can really show. So I'm going to make a full-fledged review about it. And we can kind of dream about what a WWE Ultimate Edition Sting figure would look like. Because today, man, we have our very own custom WWE Ultimate Edition Sting figure. And it looks immaculate. And we have different accessories. And we're going to break this thing down just like an Ultimate Edition review that we would do here on the channel, man. But this figure is incredible, man. This is exactly what I would envision a Sting Ultimate Edition would look like. You guys know that, I mean, potentially he could be on his way to WWE relatively soon, you know, getting a Legends deal and maybe pumping out an Ultimate Edition could come to fruition here, but we have some cool accessories. I can't wait to break it down with you and show you, showcase everything. And this isn't the exact thing, which I'll get into. I'll showcase what I was going for and what I wanted out of this figure and everything like that, sending that over to BEW, but I am on this hill, man. I will literally pass away on this hill that if Sting was a part of the Nitro stage, the crowdfunder WCW Monday Night Nitro stage crowdfunding project, it got about 3,950 backers. If if we would have had a Sting Ultimate Edition featured in that crowdfunder, that thing would have hit easily, I think. I, I true, I'm a true firm believer in that, and I will pass away on the hill, man. Freezing in the cold with a damn fur blanket, Bradley. I am going to be sitting on that hill. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. But man, we're going to dive into it today. We're going to get into the accessories. I'm going to showcase this figure, get into the details, man. So enjoy this WWE Ultimate Edition Sting and what could be potentially a thing in the future. So let's shut the hell up and dive into the accessories of this Sting figure. All right, guys. So getting into the Sting accessories, we do have more going on here than, than what's on screen right here, but we'll dive into that, man. Let's dive into these head sculpts. Now, this first one here is going to pretty much be the, you know, the Defining Moments Elite one, but it does have a lot more life. It does have a lot more life to it, and I can, guys, can kind of show you a comparison. You guys can see, I, I feel like mine here, the one that BEW did, has a lot more life to it. This is the one that Mattel had before, and it wasn't bad by any stretch, but you guys can see that it just, it looks better. It, it has more likeness to me, and it brings the eyes to life. It's not as cartoony looking, which is obviously better there, but... You know, it's the same era of Sting from that matter. And I like this head sculpt. It's not my favorite head sculpt, however. I think if I had to pick one, it would be this one. And I just, I, I love this one. I think this is great. This is actually using an AEW Unmatched Sting head sculpt that's been repainted. And it has been re-sculpted, as you guys can see. It's got more of, like, the later WCW run hair. And it's got the, like, face paint on there. This looks so damn good. I really appreciate this head sculpt. I think BEW knocked it out of the park. I mean, he knocked, the, he knocked it out of the park on all three of these head sculpts. But this is probably my favorite. And then we do have this version, which I want to say is originally the, I think it's the Defining Moments as well, but it's been re-sculpted and painted, and so it's got a little bit of a different look, you know, the, the face paint's a little different and things like that, so it gives him a little bit of a different look, and he's got the hair coming down on the face, so I really like that one as well. I really despise that that Legends figure got cancelled. I'd have picked up 600 million of that figure if that Legends figure ended up releasing, and hopefully one day when he comes back we'll get that figure, and we'll get an Ultimate Edition, we'll get different things going on, but the head sculpts on the Sting figure look immaculate, but again, this one is my favorite over here if I had to choose. Now, outside of that, he does come with his bat accessory. Now, this is not the Mattel bat. I think that the AEW Unrivaled bat is much better. And the gloves we used on this figure actually are the AEW Unrivaled gloves, so they fit better, and this fits in the hand real nice. And I just like the matte look of it. This reminds me of WCW television when I'm looking at the bat, so the black bat looks really, really clean right here. Now, outside of that, we do have two pairs of interchangeable arms. Now, I will be honest, there should be three pairs of interchangeable arms, but we did not have the extra parts needed. Now, this is just the Legends Ultimate Edition Bret Hart arms, but I did uh, put some black gauntlets on the wrist and then add the AEW Unrivaled Sting gloves so that it gives him this look here, but the arm size is nice. It's double-jointed. It's pinless. It's all the good things, but he's supposed to have these gloved double-jointed arms, and then he's supposed to have an extra pair of these specific arms with white wrist tape that come with taped fingered hands that go with these interchangeable boots that we're about to take a look at. So, these are the one pair of arms, and then he comes with interchangeable Bret Hart jacket arm so he can have his entrance jacket on there and I'll show you guys what that looks like. So if we're looking at the figure right here you would take this. Now this actual piece right here is from a Jax Undertaker figure and there's a customizer on Instagram that kind of gave me the entire inspiration behind this piece and I'll put his Instagram up on the on the screen right now so you guys can check it out. Really talented customizer. He has some amazing Sting customs as well and he knocked it out of the park but this is the guy that I kind of got the formula from for this figure but you guys can see you put it on there like that. Again this came from a Jax 
Undertaker figure. And you take the arms and you will plug them in just like any Ultimate Edition. Plug it in one side, plug it in the other. So then you guys can see what he looks like with his trench coat on there. And then when you put the gloves in there, this is just regular black molded hand gloves from Mattel. You guys can see that you get the glove look right there. And you still get the butterfly joints and everything. It covers up nicely. And you guys can see there, backing him up. Got the trench coat on there. This looks immaculate. So there is the sting. So just moving the figure back, you guys can kind of see what it looks like with the jacket and the arms and everything going on there. I think it fits pretty damn swell. I'm, I'm enjoying the damn Sting figure. I really wish Mattel... Obviously, an official released Mattel Sting is probably going to be better than this custom, but damn, I'm going to enjoy the hell out of this Sting until we finally get one, which could be years. I mean, who the hell knows? Maybe we never get one, you know? So this is looking pretty damn good to me, but let's show you the boot feature. So there was a time in WCW where Sting would come to the ring, and he's, he's pretty much... If you're an athlete, you played football, you know what I'm talking about. He would pretty much white tape and spat his boots. Kind of like the Usos used to do and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So this is a continuation of the tights. And we took regular white boots, or BEW did, and he made it look like spat over regular black boots. And so we made these boots interchangeable with the existing boots on the Sting figure. So here is the left boot right here. You can remove it here, and then you can just plug in that lower leg with this existing boot. And then after you interchange it, it does look like this. So now you have that spat look going on, and it's looking pretty damn good right there, which was always one of my favorite looks looks of Sting, personally. That's why I wanted it on my Ultimate Edition. I don't think Mattel would probably ever do this, so that's kind of going to make this custom really unique and special. So you get the white spat look of the Sting figure, and then he's got this jacket on there and his head sculpted and everything like that, but now let's take a closer look at the Sting figure itself, just looking at it without the jacket arms and things like that. Alright, so getting into the Sting figure itself, starting out at the top of the head sculpt, I, I love it. I, I love this head sculpt, you know. I think it does sit a little bit high. I may need to do some extra work on the inside of the head sculpt, so that kind of is a little bit of an issue with the figure, but I can easily fix that. It shouldn't be too too bad there but really like the proportions here as we get down into the dude that head sculpt so damn nice but going down into the torso we do have the legends ultimate edition bret hart that's what this is right here now i think mattel like i think it works pretty damn well when you're looking at the figure from afar but bw did a really good job here on the scorpion now i don't know if he hand painted this or if he decaled it i think he hand painted it though and it looks really damn good look at the precision right here on all of the scorpion details going down the legs and the paint splatter and stuff like that but claws look good yeah i do think it was hand painted but it looks so clean going down to the crotch piece and then I do believe this is just a Sting Defining Moments Elite on the crotch and legs and then again we do have you know just his his arms in there double jointed arms with the black gloves from the AEW figure and then going down to the legs and then I still have the spat legs on there right now but yeah dude this figure is phenomenal I'm really having a, a hell of a time posing this guy around really wish we could get an official one now looking at the Sting figure from afar you may can tell what I'm talking about with the head skull but I think it looks damn good man I, I really am enjoying it I do want to get into some Sting figure comparisons though. So for your Sting figure comparisons guys, we do have a few different things here. Here is a fix up Defining Moments kind of combination Sting over here. We have the SDCC exclusive AEW Jazzwares Unrivaled Sting. We have the Elite 39 Sting over here in the red and then we do have the Defining Moments without the coat on there and this is just fabulous. You know the, I want more Sting figures. Sting's one of my favorites of all time so just seeing this in the flesh or in the plastic is fantastic and that rhymed unintentionally. But I'm enjoying the hell out of the Sting figure. I think it looks cool up next to these. This is definitely my definitive sting. This is the sting that I probably love the most in my collection until we can get another one, but I am loving this, man. Really wish we could have got one in the crowdfunder, but of course, for many reasons, we could not do so, so having my Ultimate Edition sting here is an absolute blast. And then for one more sting comparison, we do have the Ultimate Edition sting up next to the Unrivaled Series 3 Darby Allen figure, because I figured you know you'd, you'd want to see this, so I think they look pretty damn good up next to each other. Prime WCW sting versus Prime AEW Darby Allen. You're asking for a damn banger right there, Brad. That's a good matchup I'd like to see. But anyways, man, that's pretty much going to wrap up our WWE Ultimate Edition Sting Action Figure Review, man. I'd love to know what you think of the Sting down in the comment section below. And another huge shout out to BEW for the epic custom, man. I'm so excited for it. I love it. I think it looks great. Can't wait to display him and put him up there. He's going to look great up in the new office. It's going to be fantastic. And I can't wait for more Sting figures to come. As I said, I love him. This is my go-to look for Sting, and I am just obsessed with this figure, man. It looks fantastic. But I want to know down in the comment section below what all of you think. And no, you can't go get this from Ringside Collectibles. This is the part of the video usually where I tell you to go grab it, but that's not going to be happening here today, man. This is all mine, and <laughs> yes. Sorry about that. But thank you guys so very much for watching. A huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those fellas over there. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. I appreciate every single one of you every single day. But thank you for watching, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm my name, Toys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you later, and see you in the next one. <laughs>